Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is hip hop royalty. He is one of the greatest lyricists in the game and a true renaissance man. Take a look. He has a stellar career spanning more than three decades. O'Shea Jackson, better known as Ice Cube, is credited with nine studio albums, countless films and television roles, a clothing line, product endorsements, screenwriting credits, and the list goes on. And who could forget the groundbreaking movie classic Friday? Now this multi-million dollar businessman has gone from hip hop to hoops. And his latest venture, the Big Three Basketball League, is taking the country by storm. When it comes to artists creating a successful brand, there are few who has done it like our next guest. Please welcome the hip hop pioneer himself, Ice Cube. Yeah! How y'all doing? Hey. Good to see you. Hey there. All right, how you doing? How you doing? Down to the circle. Yes. Yeah. Today is a good day. Always. Oh, that's right. How about it? Now, Ice Cube, yeah. you got a lot going on. I mean, I mean, yes, always you do. But one thing I never knew, how did you get your name? How did you get the name <laughs> Ice Cube? My brother gave me that name. Really? I, yeah. I was about 12. And um, he's older than me. You know, a lot of people, a lot of girls would call, his, call the house for him. <laughs> and he would never be home, but I would be there. So <laughs> I was trying to, you know, get my Mac in. And, <laughs> He was getting tired of that. He was like, yo, <laughs> next time you do that, I'm going to slam you in this refrigerator right here. Uh -uh. And then pull you out, you're going to be Ice Cube. So oh. from there, I just kind of liked that flavor and that name. So I just told everybody when I went, out, when I went outside, don't call, me, don't call me O'Shea no more. You know, it's, it's Ice Cube from here on out. Ah, oh, he, he at the neighborhood with Ice Cube. Down yeah. to the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> now, you are a legend in so many ways. I mean, successfully transitioning your career from music to movies. I mean, we all know all of your movies. Mm -hmm. uh, Boys mm -hmm. in the Hood, Barbershop, Ride Along, mm -hmm. Triple X. You know what I'm saying? That was one of my favorite. And then uh, Fist Fight, you know, and yeah. you go, you, you, you cross spans, like, as far as, like, um, you, you cross genre comedy, you know what I'm saying, action, drama. Uh, how important is for artists in such an independent world that we're in right now yeah. to transition from music um, to other things? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I mean, I think it's it's very important. Um, you know, when when I first came out, you know, music was so huge as far as you know, a, a, a industry. You know, mm -hmm. um, and then you know, with the computer and and downloading, and, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't yes. it wasn't as lucrative as it was in the beginning. Right. So. You know, by me having a, a, a acting career and writing and doing other things and producing, mm -hmm. you know, I, I was able to kind of, you know, um, you know, spread out, you know, and, and not just be pigeonholed into one thing. Right, so, right. to me, if you got the talent, show it. You know, why why hold it in, in one section of of music or movies or whatever? Just Show your talent. That's Absolutely. what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's a message. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, uh, many of the people got the message uh, that you got your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Congratulations oh, yeah, yeah. Thank on you, that. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Really. And as we see in the, yeah, absolutely. As we see in the picture there, you have your family behind you supporting you. But we all know mm. that if behind every strong man, there's a stronger woman. Mm. And how does your wife contribute to your career? I mean, she's everything, you know, um, we, we, we talk about everything every day, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, we have great communication. So, I mean, anything that I got that, you know, before the public see it, you know, she, she give you me run the rundown. Her yeah, mm -hmm. she'll tell me <laughs> if it's whack, if I need to go back to the drawing board. Uh, so, you know, I use her as a muse, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? She's, That's right. she's there really to, um, uh, to make sure that 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 things are hot, and um, you know we've been we've been doing this for a long time, and and it's great to have her still here with me. Thank God mm -hmm. for her. I know that's yes. I know, right. So one of the things that you're doing now that I'm super duper excited about because mm -hmm. I'm a huge basketball fan yeah. is the Big Three on Three <laughs> yes. League. I watch it all the time. <laughs> Tell us about the Big Three on Three League, and like kind of why did you bring it into uh, you know why did you bring it? Why did it come into fruition? Why did it? Well, why did you do it? Well, you know, I'm a big basketball fan, too. Mm -hmm. We played three-on-three three growing up a lot, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, more three-on-three three than five-on-five. Five. Right. So, you know, when I was thinking about, like, why isn't this elevated to the professional level? Mm -hmm. You know, why is it just 
parking lot, you know, uh, you know, a lot of amateur like uh, tournaments, mm -hmm. but but it hasn't been elevated. So mm -hmm. um, I had sat on that idea for a while, and yeah. then I saw Kobe score 50, 60 points in his last game. Mm. I'm like, Sickly. yo, it's, it's nowhere else idea. to see this dude play, and that's a shame. So yeah, yeah. that's kind of where these ideas intersected. It was like bring three on three to a professional level and have a place where we could see these guys still hoop, you know, well, that we I'm, love. I'm really excited to learn more about it. When we come back, we're going to talk more about the yes. three on three league. Plus, we get one of the league's players, former NBA, NBA star Corey Maggetti from Shark Town, will join us when we come back. <laughs> We are here with hip hop legend Ice Cube, who has recorded some of the most talented ballers in the league. Uh, to join us today from the Big Three, he's recruited Corey Maggetti. Yes. He's played 14 seasons in the NBA, and now you're rolling with the Big Three. How does that feel? It's been good. I mean, uh, last year I had the chance of being in the Big Three, tore my Achilles. Uh, but this year, coming back, our team is playing unbelievable. Uh, but it's been a blessing just having Ice Cube start this league for guys that have been mm -hmm. retired and giving them an opportunity to be on the, on the same type of platform. Yeah. Now, Corey, what is the difference from playing in the Big Three as opposed to the NBA? I mean, obviously, it's, it's you know, it's 3-on-3. Three -three, we know that. But for you personally, you know, what attracted you to the 3-on-3 three -three and what are the differences that you experience? Well, one of the, of course, like you said, it's 3-on-3 three -three basketball. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, the game is a lot more physical. Mm -hmm. Also, you have say. this position where... <laughs> You know, you're taking the ball out right at half court, and it's it's just constant. Right. It's, it's never stopping. So it gives you a chance basically to attack guys, but also from a standpoint, you have to guard. You have to play mm -hmm. defense, and in 5-on-5, five <laughs> five, you have more opportunities for help defense, and 3-on-3, three three you don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Cube, I know you created this for families, for, you know, kids, and, 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 and for you, it's bringing a different fan base to, to, to a person like yourself who's been retired from the league. What's been your response from the people? Mm -hmm. Oh, they love it. You know, when you see it live, uh, you know, I know we got a lot of fans that watch it on TV, but if we come to your town, you can see it live. It's incredible. It's Letitia. It's Letitia. Letitia. That's what Rashawn would say. Letitia. Yeah. It's Letitia. Yeah, for sure. It's Letitia. It's Letitia. Yeah. For sure. I mean, you know, just seeing these guys, you know, you know, guys with so much skill, yeah. talent, you know, basketball IQ through the roof, but seeing mm -hmm. them play three on threes, like seven footers mm -hmm. playing three on three so basketball hard. is crazy. So, uh, and it's just a fun event. You know, mm -hmm. we're a lot looser than the NBA when it comes to, you know, you might get a selfie with Corey at the game. You never know. You wow. know, our guys are going into the stands and they're, uh, engaging with the crowd and it's just a fun day of basketball mm -hmm. now what is the the intake process like do they have to be drafted or are they chosen are they handpicked like do the coaches get involved in it or is well, it just like a draft like the NBA? Well, we have we have a, a draft combine so mm. guys come and show what they got uh for, for captains like corey and other captains and coaches show what they got you know, because we want you to still have it. Right. We want your game, not just your name. Yeah. So, you know, show you got it, and then hopefully you get picked the next day when we draft. And uh, oh, right. it's it's a it's it's a cool event. On the low kill, tell me who's your favorite team. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> they are my babies, you know what I'm saying? That's it's like, right. you know, they like my kids, you know, they all, they, I, I got a, you know, love for all of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want them all to do well, even though they got to be a winner and a loser. What's cool is just seeing, um, I could be there every night and see the excitement. Well, right. we are so excited to see the big three and it's wrapped, the season is wrapping up. So you don't want to miss it. And I think they're wrapping up in Dallas. Or, or yeah, they're coming in Dallas. Coming to and Dallas. then they're going to be in Brooklyn. But listen, the conversations always continue on SisterCircleTV.com. Yeah.